Welcome back to Let's Interactively Play Morrowind, everybody. I am Variax, and this week's uh, suggestion comes from a user called AnimeFan90000, who I think has had a suggestion before, lucky bastard. So he gets another one. And his, his suggestion simply reads, Get a house, smiley face. Which leaves it pretty well open, because what I could pretty much do is just uh, go into a house, kill the peasant that lives there, and that would be my house then. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to kill two birds with one stone because, I, in fact, I'm not even going to um, explain you what I'm doing. I'm just going to do it. And we're in Kaltura, apparently. I don't remember the last session. What happened in the last session? Oh, we were after forks. That's right. Oh, so now I've got a... <laughs> right, so now I can uh, put my forks everywhere. Um, that's great. No more, no more uh, fork in your windows, by the way. That's uh, done and dusted. Um, I'm just going to save the game, as I always do. Save it as... Uh, 26. Here we go. Save it as 26. Now. Um, well, luckily, the place I want to get to is pretty accessible. In fact, it might be really accessible, but I'm not going to take the not going to take the chance. I'm going to be around Balmora. When I was thinking about this, which which didn't take very long. I mean, I don't overthink what I'm going to be doing on sort of open ideas like this. Um, and I've completely lost my train of thought. Completely gone. It was there. It was there. It was happening. It was running along Go with ahead, me, and then it went in one way, and now in the other. And uh, I've completely forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just. Oh, in fact, we can divine intervention because we're going to the fort. We are going to the fort. We are the fort. Whichever fort it may be. Um, I've had a few suggestions, requests to do this quest for the bad people. Are they the Morag Tong or are they something else? I don't, do I work for the Morag Tong? I don't remember anymore. This LP is so disjointed in my head that I don't remember one week to the next. It's completely random. But um, in fact, I can find out, can I? Not that it really matters. Um, yes, I am members of the Morag Tong. So these people probably won't yes. like me doing this quest. But I'm going to talk to Larius Varro. He is. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I am Larius Vallo, Legion Champion of Fort Moonmoth. I have been hoping you might come by. I've got some work for you, if you're interested. This is going to take a long time to read, so if you don't like me re uh, reading out stuff, skip for about, I don't know, three, four minutes, something like that. Uh, so this work. Okay. Through various channels, I've learned a bit about your situation, and I'd like to tell you a little story. My, my situation? What, that I just go around doing completely random things with no rhyme or reason? And when I'm done, you can ask me some questions, and then, maybe, you might decide to go out and do some things. You might, and you might not. That's your affair. And I also want to tell you about a nice present that I think the Emperor wants you to have. I'm not sure where it is, but maybe you'll want to check back and see if I found it later, after you've done some things. Alright, let's hear about this little story then. Once upon a time, there was a bad magistrate who took gold from criminal organizations to reduce the sentences and fines of criminals. Everybody knew he was doing this, but nobody could prove it. Even because even if it could be proved, the bad magistrate had important friends, and proof is not as powerful as important friends. I remember when Gix was reading this in one of his in his, in his uh, Morrowind LP. Just thought I'd mention that it's it's like it's a bit weird actually doing it myself now. Continue. At the same time, there was a good officer who enforced the laws because he thought laws made people happy and safe. And it bothered the good officer that enforcing the laws did no good because the bad magistrate let the criminals go as quick as the officer caught them. For a long time, the good officer sighed and said, What can I do? Because the bad magistrate has important friends and nothing I can do will touch him. But then the good officer said, Say, wait a minute, what about the bad people? Uh, the, who they are bri who are bribing the bad magistrate? They haven't got important friends, and if they aren't around, then the bad magistrate can't get any more bribes. 
and even better, the good officer suspected that the bad people who were bribing the bad magistrate were probably criminals themselves. So the good officer decided that it would be good if the bad people who were bribing the bad magistrate should go away forever. So that the good officer made a little special prayer that there would be a little bloodbath to wash the, wash the bad people away. Uh, there, isn't that a nice little story? Maybe not a perfect story because it ends with a prayer and not a bloodbath, but maybe the story isn't over yet. Is there something else? Alright, let's talk about ad bad people. Oh, the bad people of the commoner tongue. By the way, you're talking to one of them. But we'll just gloss over that, shall we? I thought everybody knew that. They are a criminal organization. Unfortunately, I do not know who the commoner tongue are, obviously. No one will tell me because I am an officer, and it is against the code to tell officers things. Uh, but people in the Thieves' Guild hate the commoner tongue, and I bet if you asked the Thieves' Guild, they would clear clearly tell you who the bad people are and where to find them but I warn you these bad people are very tough tougher than you I'm afraid well I beg to differ actually bloodbath um, the bad people in my story are the five members of the common tongue I know they are a scout a prawn a pawnbroker a savant a thief a smith and a smith and they are in Balmora unfortunately I don't know their names uh, but maybe you can find their names. When you find them, then maybe the story could end in a happy ending with a little bloodbath instead of a little prayer. Present. There's a present. Present. There's a present. Present. Nice present. What is the nice present from the Emperor? I'm not. I'm sure I don't know. I think it is supposed to be a surprise. And as I said, I'm not sure where it is, but I might find it any time. So check back if... Let's see if I find it later after you've done some work. Yeah, I'm doing this quest. Um, let's head back to Balmora and because I'm lazy, I'm casting this. Now, this is interesting because I've forgotten that these bad people are the common tongue and I'm a member of their guild. So, I'm not sure if it will conflict, yes, okay. honestly, with the guild stuff that I have, you know, that I've joined the guild. However, thinking about it, I say don't break the game in suggestions, and uh, this isn't a suggestion, I'm just doing this off my own back. Because um, I have had some requests to do this quest anyway, as I said. So I'm going to go ahead with it. Because, I mean, okay, I might not be able to do all the common, common tongue contracts, but um, they haven't been all that popular in um, suggestions anyway and if it does break I don't think it will break the quest line like uh, like they'll hate me more um, but if it does I'm just gonna roll with it I'm afraid howdy you're a member you of the thieves guild bad people I can only speak to a friend oh well I'll be your friend um, I don't think I have any charm skills so let's persuade you with 100 gold and let's persuade you with another 100 gold oh my god another 100 Alright, since you... Oh no, I'm not going to read... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Press the wrong button there. Persuade you. Persuade. Mm. I just gave you like 400 gold pieces. Luckily, they don't take the gold. There we go. When your um, persuasion, your bribe is refused. So that does save me a bit of gold. Alright, what about bad people now? Mm, yeah, the bad people you're looking for. The common tongue, yes. Name of them. You'll find that at the council club. Uh, corner club. The scout would be, uh, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to kill them all. I don't think that the guy behind the bar, uh, or at least one of these people in this building, is part of the common tongue, and isn't really part of this quest. Because I think there's six of them in here, and I'm only supposed to kill five of them. But I intend to just kill them all anyway. Um, because... I'm a bad person. And, um... You can do anything because uh, after when you turn this quest in, uh, you and you go back to the to the, to, to Varro, uh, he removes your bounty like completely of any crime you've ever committed, which is handy. So you're the blacksmith. Yeah, yeah, you're the blacksmith. Look, repair and stuff. In fact, I shall repair my bow shadow so I can kill you with it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, there is five of them. Six. You see. There's six of them, so one of these people who is going to die does not deserve it. I'm sure he's, I don't know, kicked a p 
puppy or something, so he deserves to die as well. Um, so how are we going to do this? We're going to save. Now what I always tend to do at this point is chug Sajama. Uh, but we are quite strong now. You know, we've got a decent armor class, we've got a good sword. People keep saying that this Demon Katana is crap, but I actually, I actually rather like it. I don't know why people say it's so bad, because I like it. <laughs> 